Greetings and salutations. Oh boy, I can't wait to print with my Brady Labeler. What's that? Oh no. It printed, but it looks like the ribbons busted. Oh, and sure enough, the ribbon ripped. <clears throat> that sucks. I mean, I had about half the reel left, too. These things are like 25 bucks. I'm just going to toss it away. So why don't we go ahead and fix it? To fix a busted ribbon, you'll need the following items. Scotch tape, one or two flathead screwdrivers, tweezers, and some scissors. I also like to have a, another cartridge available so I can look at it uh, when it's time to recompile the spring here. So, to get started, you do not need to remove the touch cell or the little jumper, jumper plate here. There's actually a piece of plastic that when we separate it uh, will come with on the sides. So there's nothing, no special precautions you really have to make. Uh, what you want it, the goal of what we're going to do is essentially pry at this and pull carefully at the various points on here right at the seam. So as you can kind of see there is a few posts throughout the cartridge here. So what you're going to want to do is essentially just pry you hear kind of like a little squeaking sound while doing it very carefully kind of get the screwdriver wedge in there and just twist it a little bit toward when you're near each one of the the ports there and you're going to want to keep doing that on all sides trying to move it out as evenly as you can kind of using your hand to pull up at it Got to keep working at it here. There we go. Oh, shoot. So sometimes that'll happen. Um, just collect all the pieces. Okay, so got the spring. Got one of the tensioners here. And, oh, there's the other two. The other two are safely fell in there. All right, so I don't lose anything. Also, the main thing that's still intact here is this little widget with the spring. So what this does is when you push on it, it actually relieves tension off of the ribbon. See? So how that works is it's that fell off. That shouldn't have. It's just the spring here. And all you do is take that plastic piece and place it on there like this. There's little grooves and notches that you're going to kind of have to get a feel for. But what this does, you want to make sure it moves nicely like that. And then you're going to want to make sure you have your spring put on there. Oops. So hook that on there. You can use your tweezers, oops, still on there, lightly harder with a camera, when I have to mine the camera, okay, there we go. So when the spring tension's on there, it holds, it holds it into, it holds it into position here, see that, so it keeps it pressed up against there, because the machine, when you latch it, is going to pull it in like that. So you're going to want to make sure you have that. Make sure that moves freely still. So that's all good. So this is why I like to have a non-broken cartridge so I can kind of get my bearings here and see that, okay, this is still the top. But we're, This is still the top, so we want to treat it like the bottom, though, because I don't want to be fighting gravity here. So I'll just flip it in that orientation. Orientation like that. Okay, so... With that in mind, yeah, looks like we're going to want the supply on the left, take up on the right here. So here's our take up. 
And how I know it's a take up is because of these lips. These lips on each edge, you see them? You can kind of see it um, in here. And then on the other side is just the solid white bar with the metal on the spring and then uh, the plastic on the top of it. So this one, you can see it, this needs a set like this metal on there on the spring and then the plastic on the metal. There you go. So that's on there. And then you'd want this guy to go on there, like that. You're going to want to have it so that the... Oh, so when this thing gets hot, <laughs> one of these sides will have material push out. The other side is just a laminate. So in order to know which is the material side, you can take a piece of scotch tape. This isn't all that, this isn't all that the tape's used for, but you can take a piece of tape and touch it to the side, to a side. And if when you lift it up, see how it didn't remove any material. So if we go more over here on the shiny side, I put tape down, it removed material. See that? So because it removed material, this is the side. So the shiny side, I'm going to want to, the shiny side, I'm going to want to have facing my label. Yeah. So, just remember that shiny side towards the label, dull side not. So, if that's the case, I put this on wrong. I want it shiny side out. So, you just have to maneuver this thing so that way you get the shiny side facing outward on the label here. And then it's got the a notch. It's got a notch on the base here that you can put it through. But before we do that, we are going to want to, oh my gosh, before we do that, we're going to want to get this bad boy connected back up with the take up. So you can roll this back up if you want, um, but if, you, if it's halfway through, you don't need to save all of it. You just need a little bit to tape it to. So you can really just remove a bunch while you're in here, why not? There you go. Get off of there. Okay. Oh, this is it's it's a little frustrating, um, but you'll it's, it's it's worth it. If you don't have a camera blocking your movements, it's a lot easier. Alright, so the big thing is when you do it, you're going to want to, it doesn't matter which side, you want to match the sides, of course. Let's move this in the frame here. Okay. Now this just, it has to, doesn't have to be an exact science, just make sure they're, the color, the, the sides match, shiny with shiny, dull with dull. Then take your tape, and that was a little too much. I only want as much as the width of this thing, perhaps even a little less. I'm going to want that, and then I'm going to hold this down and tape it together. Alright, so there's one side. So I've taped one side together. And I'm going to flip it over and tape it on the other side. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the same little piece of tape I tore off already. There we go. So, there. It's a solid ribbon again. Solid ribbon. So then you're going to want to, at this point it doesn't really matter, just keep them, keep them together. Now it's going to be important. Now the placement is going to be important. Uh, the next thing too, before you put the take up back down, take your dented piece and put the dented side facing out in the slot there. And then you're going to want to... So I had already determined that I wanted the shiny side facing out, so this is wrong. So in order to change it, I'm just going to do this, flip it around. Okay. So there we go. So now I can put this here, 
So, like that, that there, and then this can be encapsulated right there. So, looking at it, looking at a good cartridge, yeah, this is still the bad one, but uh, looking at a good cartridge, you can kind of see and guess, you can kind of guess where the material comes in. So it actually bypass, it doesn't snake in the first one there, but it looks like it goes in the second one. So, looking at this one, that means I'd want it to be kind of like this. Now, yeah, so there you can kind of see it, kind of like that. So just for ease of putting that on, I'm just going to tighten it in. Make sure it's in that little slit there. So now, this is exactly how you want it. Springy on both sides. Take up and the give. So then you're going to want to take your, your other, uh, your actual, your ribbon, or your material. This is the ribbon, this is the material. And then you're going to want to place it on here. And when you do it, it kind of helps out a little better if you just leave this out. And you just kind of put it on like that. So now the next challenge is actually going to be, which is why the tweezers or anything really come in handy, is you're going to want to fish this in. And you're going to want to get it connected in. You're going to want to get the ribbon spools in their slots here. So the this side that the take up is going to have has little rods on it. So you're going to want to get that encapsulated there. Sometimes you get a little lucky and it just sort of falls into place here. But because I'm going to tilt it, that's going to be a little hard. But there. So that side got in. This is grabbed all right. So that's in there. All right. So It looks like I crunched it there a little bit, so I'm just going to pull it back up here. Woo! -hoo. Oh boy. So that almost fell out. <laughs> so let's try that again. Alright. That time it felt pretty good. So before you do a little press down, you kind of want to just make sure it's it's in there. Because once you press it down, then you have to go through the process of yanking it out again. So that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and press it down. Get a little squeaks. Alright, get rid of that gap on the edge here. Okay, so then we can notch back our material there we go and then to tighten it up verify it works you can use uh, the scissors and just move this around and make sure it takes it up which looks like it does all right now well, time for the real test all right Look at that. Alright, there we go. Fixed. So the only time I've really torn a ribbon is, actually two times, is when I gave it to somebody and they printed a label. They printed a label and then they tried to tear it. <laughs> they grabbed it and tried to rip it out. Another time is when I cu it cut, you cut the label, and you pull it out, but for whatever reason, you let it sit for a while, a little bit of media pulls out. So when you pop it, when you pop it out, it doesn't eject fully. Like, it kind of grips it still here. Pop it back down. Pull the triggers. Cut the piece of material that's keeping you up there. And then pop it out. If it, if it doesn't pop up evenly, so you can nice and evenly... If it doesn't pop up like that, where it's even all the way around even movement, then what you want to do is pop it back down, pull the triggers again. Get that little bit of material cut out of the way so it, it slides right on the edge here, so it slides straight up. Okay, so 
that's going to do it. Hopefully you can repair your busted ribbon cartridges and get the last bit of media used. Alright, till next time, I'm the Ill-Informed Human.